In this video, I hope to be able to show you how to use Mellencam Exterminator uh, Control, the free one available on Rock Mountain's website to control your Exterminator Extreme or X2 camera. Uh, here's the icon for Exterminator Control. Double click. You're going to get an error message because I don't have a USB to serial device set up to control a camera. The default port is COM1. Uh, once you get a USB to serial device and a control cable hooked up, then you could adjust this parameter. But for now, I'm going to show you how to set up the software to view the camera output. So you close it. Now you have Mellencam Control, Exterminator Control running. The first thing you want to do is go to the Advanced tab, and you'll see there's a yellow countdown. That's the three-minute countdown. For now, you can click on it and say, yes, I want to shut down the timer. So now the amber light has changed to green, so the camera is running. I'm going to go to the Video tab, click on it. For device right now, I'm going to take my Logitech webcam and select it. And as you can see, all of these parameters have appeared as adjustable. These two, gamma and U, are not adjustable. For now, I'm going to click the preview box. And there's the preview window from my webcam. You can resize the preview window. If you want to go to 800 by 600, you get a larger image. Or you can go to 1024 by 768, which is too big to fit in here. So I'm going to go back to 800 by 600. But that shows you the preview of my webcam. And now you'll see that you can make any adjustment that is highlighted. Saturation, sharpness. When you turn the saturation down to minimal, it goes to monochrome. And then here you can go to white balance. You can always hit the default button, bingo, and you're back at defaults. If you don't like the appearance of the black, you can go to configure and go to the night vision blue, which is the one I generally use. So that just changes the basic layout. And one other thing you can adjust in the configure, if you want to be able to adjust the gain in the camera from the software, you'll see that the gain box is not here, but if you go to configure, enable AGC, and you go back to the advanced tab, now you have the gain adjustment available once you get your camera set up. One final thing in this little video, once you get the USB to serial adapter installed and the control cable hooked up, if you go to device manager, I'm going to right click on this and call up device manager and bring device manager over, you will see uh, there will be a ports tab, which I don't have because I don't have any, uh, I don't have any USB to serial adapters plugged in, but you'll find a ports tab which will show you what uh, tab the uh, Com port's been assigned to the USB to serial adapter. Once you find it in the list of uh, ports, you would go here and define your port based upon what device manager says you have uh, for your USB to serial adapter. Once you've selected the port, you would save it and then you would shut down the software. Once you shut it down, the next time you start it up, you should not get the error message that it can't find the COM port if you've properly picked the COM port.